Wait, so, weird. Hold on, hold on. so, just like the examples we saw outside, maybe you think that those posters sucked or weren't as good or why they do that. I believe all of those posters, all those posters should. Uh, one of them I can think of, she didn't do that many revisions, but, um, but most of those posters were several, you know, iteration, 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 tweak, 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 tweak. So just like with, you know, we write one of our, our, our uh, methods sections and give it to our, our buds, they should be tweaking it, right? And so it's totally good to have your stuff marked up and tweak and revise. This item should be given as much rigor and as much scrutiny as any kind of more traditional written paper. So that's the first thing. So this was a, uh, one of our uh, summer institute papers. And the students knocked it together and it was like, ah, oh, no, this, boom, 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 boom. And so that's what you should be doing for your friends when you're looking at their posters over the next few weeks. And this is what they should be doing to yours, right? So the more feedback, the better. Okay. Let's look at some examples. And so as before, uh, it doesn't matter if my name is on these, you can yell and say it's, it's stupid, lame, or whatever. And so, uh, so here's an example of a poster. This is from a student doing, um, this was an independent research project, actually, I believe. Um, and so this student was using some of the data from our seafood surveys, and she uh, augmented it with surveys in Spanish and English. And so that's what this guy is. So what do you think? Yay or nay? What's good, what's bad? What's that? So there's also different audiences for posters at times, and this would be an example of that. So this poster was designed to be left up for a long period of time so people could look at it. So in some cases, when you guys go to a conference, it's the poster's up for an hour or two, and then, and then it's you know, down or whatever. This was an example of a poster that was designed to be left up for three days during the whole conference. People can come and look. So in that case, you know, again, and not, not saying this is perfect, but the idea is there's sort of a blend of glance at it quickly, but yet people would, ha in theory, have a more extended period with this, and they can start looking at it. So the stuff on the right is all of the data. So the idea is when people get the idea, they can look at their, in this case, fish. You know, hey, what, you know, what did, how did that perform? So the idea there is to draw people into it by looking at it in more depth. Obviously, that's, that's probably too much for your guy's poster design, but, um, but that's that. Uh, I would say a thing that you guys were talking about, some of you guys when the, when the corridor are looking at stuff, colors are consistent throughout. So for example, Spanish speakers are in red, English speakers are in blue, and that, and that uh, follows throughout. Okay. Oops, what, that's, what the hell is that? Capture poster evaluation? Let's look at this one. Okay, how about this one? There's your boxes. You guys said you love boxes. Wait, there's too many boxes. Oh, I'm sorry, now it's too many boxes. <laughs> oh, oh. Okay, guys, okay, so just stare at it for a second, stare at it for a second, stare at it for a second. Uh, I don't remember. No, I don't think so. Oh, it's going to be so good about you guys' posters, I can tell. I can tell. I hope this is the first draft. This is holy crap. Okay, so, um, so uh, regardless, I guess you guys really hate this, apparently. Okay. Um, so this is an example of someone trying to do something different, right? So, so the box that you guys say you love, right? So trying to have a different type of box. Um, 
here's a map of data, et cetera. Here is a, vis a qualitative view of the data. So a little bit of this condition representative of some state A and this condition representative of some state B. Um, the colors are consistent. So the reds here and the reds here um, are, are consistent. They try to keep the text relatively low, right? So maybe, maybe the execution was not ideal, but these things that we talked about are illustrated here, right? So starting off on the upper left, and then generally the eyeball is going down and then jumping up to here and then going down and then jumping up, right, like, like that. So it's following the pattern. Now, some people get really uptight with it. Oh my God, the conclusions are here, but there's more stuff over here, right? Again, maybe not, it, it, it's a design choice. So I don't know if I would have done that like that, but you know, it, it's not, it's not so much like the paper where if you had conclusions and then you had paper, p uh, images after the conclusion section of your paper, that would be wrong. Make sense? Okay, how about this one? Mm-hmm. Right. So, yep. So, yep. So the colors. So again, so you guys are getting some ideas here, which is sort of consistent formatting. Maybe it's a, maybe it's a bolding, maybe it's a color scheme that what, however implemented is consistent across. So if you see the hypothesis in that question, then you see the result or excuse me, the hypothesis in that color and then see the re results in that color, etc. That seems to be uh, pretty helpful. Anything else about that? So I don't know if you guys, I don't know if you picked this up, but so this, this question here in this maroon color is supposed to be this. This question here, this green is supposed to be this. And also in the methods too. The time that's right, that's right, right. Yeah, so, right, so maybe it worked, maybe it didn't work. This font is too small. This font should be a little bit bigger, like a, a, a stop or two higher at least. Again, I can tell that because I'm like, it's a little bit hard where you guys are, but if I put my arm on my computer screen, it's, I can read it, but I have to kind of, you know, pay attention and focus. It's not, it's not e big enough to easily read quickly. How about this one? I'm sorry, say, Kyle, say again? The visual, the visual line here from like their last name kind of thing? Yeah. And I don't like how the, the logos are just on one side. Is that the old DSRM program logo? Now it's a circle, right? Uh, yes, yeah, this is before we made that. This is before we made that. Well, this, we still use this one. We still use this one, but that was before the circle. Okay. How about this one? Too much. Interesting. <laughs> oh, interesting. <laughs> oh, now the author. Now I liked it. <laughs> no, but it looks good. Oh, now I like it. Yeah. <laughs> this one, best poster award. This one, I believe this one won an award. Yeah. So, so, um, so, uh, You guys should stare at these for a second before you start doing the group thing. Maybe I can ask in a different way. What is good about this? Matt. The illustration, I mean, the sort of the, the, the concept in, in symbolic, symbolic yeah. form? Yeah. Wow, now everybody loves it. What, well, okay, so, so that was maybe what's good. What's bad about it? So Carla says the font's too small. Okay, good. What else? I don't know Sorry, what, what about this? You, what about it? Tacky. Tacky. Interesting. Okay. 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 
No, no, it's fine. I'm recording this. I'll play it for later. It's fine. So, um, so one thing that's nice. So one thing that uh, I think uh, this poster did well is the methodology. So this was using, you know, chemical analytic techniques that 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 can be uh, in the weeds a lot with the methodology. In this case, she chose to to sort of, you know in text form, bulleted form, sort of highlight the key parts, but then had an illustration here, right? Again, our audience is a technical audience, but not necessarily familiar with, let's say, organic chemistry or methylated mercury chemistry or whatever the heck it was, right? So having, having a, a visualization of the process um, sort of, you know, provides a detail for folks that know what's going on or, or, or that are familiar with this, this technique, but also people that don't know it's easy to stand in front and explain this, right? It's very, very common for these types of posters for the methodology to run, run roughshod over the whole poster. And they're like talking all these, you know, way down in the weeds that is, is an information delivery mechanism that maybe is not the most effective way to communicate with folks outside of the organic chemistry world, for example. Uh, and again, and maybe you didn't pick up on this, but again, the color ramp here is the same as here, is the same as here, is the same as here. So this, so whatever, even without looking at the details, the orange thing is here and here and here. The yellow thing, whatever it is, is here and here and these dots here and here, right? So that's, that's again, a really uh, helpful um, way to reinforce the concept of this this toxin or this survey at this kid's school or whatever the, the survey method is. Cool? How about this one? Perfect. Right. <laughs> so again, I'll say what's, what's good about, or what do you like about this? There should be something in every poster to like, something that can be made better. This is actually data from you guys, or some of the data is from you guys. Everything's too squished together. Like right, so the sense you guys think it's too squished? Like I'm making not want to read through like the paragraph. Okay. It's too squished. Whereas the parts that are like bulleted, like Q and A kind of thing, is a lot easier to just read it really quick. This one. Oh, it's super yeah. tiny. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even what see that. That had like, words on it. Oh, God. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, what's, what's bad about it besides the things you guys already said? I think like also like the, the, the capitalization, so for example, in number one where it says risk of gold species relative, like I feel like those should be capitalized just like the results are is capitalized and it's not. So it kind of, I don't know, it looks weird. Uh, the numbering, the circle around it. Yeah. Uh, I think it should have like Good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Cool. Is there, is there a reason why you picked like the purple and the pink and the light purple for the, those titles on the middle? Mm. Uh, these ones? Yeah. Uh, so uh, these purple is government, Louisiana government, Obama government, or president, Congress, federal regulators. <laughs> light purple is oil companies, so they're, they're different gross groups. So they're meant to show sort of the same kind of thing. Oh, okay. Maybe the colors would have, could have been a little more different from each other. Because I feel like the, like could have been. the dark purple, like kind of. So again, so that, yeah, so it totally could have been. 
But again, until you see it printed, I, I, I really want to emphasize you guys should not be picking colors based upon what it looks like on your screen. Yeah. It can look entirely different once it's printed. So in this case, we did a test printing to check the colors and they worked really well. So it might, it might seem very similar on paper, or excuse me, on the screen, but again, it's, it's, it's hard to know. Um, okay, so we don't want to dwell on this, but, but I'll just say that there's different ways to represent data, right? We could do a big, and not that this is the correct way necessarily, but we could do a table with column, 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 right? Or you could do other types of visualizations. So in this case, this was um, people that tended to avoid seafood, so they felt that seafood, that, that, that they didn't know if it was safe to eat, um, or it definitely was unsafe to eat. These are people that felt it was safe, right? So you could do it in a table, or you could do it like this. Same thing here, um, same idea. You don't have to simply do a table, or you don't simply have to do a bar graph. You can do um, different types of uh, mixes. Okay. Um, so this, is a, so this is sort of a more typical setting at a conference, right? So I mentioned there's people in front of the posters. Maybe this is the author. He's, he's answering questions, or this, or this is the author, and he's answering this guy's questions. So, right? so I need to be able to read this from behind this dude. Um, yeah, here, let's do this. Okay. So these are all real posters. So what do you guys think? Bland. Yeah. So you got, you got your boxes. You guys love your boxes. There's your boxes right there. No, I didn't. Make sure everyone doesn't even have any boxes. How about this one? These again are all real posters from a real conference. Very so, yeah. so there's, there's, you know, I give you guys a lot of free board. The answer to this is, is not pretty. This sucks. So you are not allowed to use a background image in any of your posters. Let me say that again. You are not allowed to use a background uh, backdrop in any of your posters. It is nine, of course there's an example or two you could find somewhere that work. 99% of the time it is baloney. 99% of the time when you look at this, this you look at this brown ooh, 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 here. You're not paying attention to stuff. When you try to look at stuff, it acts as a distractant, not as something that, that helps. So this person was looking at this thing in the Gulf of Mexico. This is, I guess, supposed to be some kind of dispersant plume or something. Horrible. Horrible, horrible. How about this one? Look, here's your graphs. Got some graphs there. Here's your box. You like your box. <laughs> So well, that, that's the photograph, this is the semi-gloss, so that's, that's an artifact to be taking a picture, but, but, but leaving that aside. Is that a word on it? I don't know. I'm sorry, ask, ask again, Mac. Uh-huh. So can I do that, turn it on the other I suppose you could. <laughs> I suppose you could. Uh, this is an interesting choice. So again, in this case, this, in this case, this is uh, another example of where these posters were designed to be left up for you know a day or so. So they're in those kind of situations, they're put up and, and it's announced, hey, this posters are viewable from whatever 8 a.m. to noon or something. So the idea here with this, whether it works or not, is is your call. But the idea is, oh man, this is an interesting poster. I want to talk to him or her. Who is this? I don't know who this. Chen, Chen, Yi, Chen Yi is, right? And there's a big conference. Hundreds, hundreds, thousands of people. How am I find him or her? So put a photo of yourself. That could be, right, you know, a useful thing. I would not put a photo with the vast majority of it being background, right? But still, but the idea is not necessarily bad. What else? What, what else about this design? Obviously, it's too small for you guys to read, but what about the, the layout? I don't, I don't know if I'd say there's too many figures, but the figures are not balanced. Look at this guy. So, right, these two are aligned here, but this is not aligned. Mm -hmm. These two have inconsistent gaps between these two. Little teeny gap, big gap. So it just, it looks, 
it, it looks disorganized. When you do that, regardless of how well your writing is, regardless of how well laid out your figures are, it gives the impression of disorganization. Here's, and so presumably, this is, and again, space is relatively important, right? It communicates something. So uh, we're saying that the, the acknowledgement picture of people is basically more important than me, which might be true. <laughs> but the acknowledgement picture of people is more important than these organisms I was identifying, these different worms and things. I doubt that's the case. If this is research about the effect of of different sampling methodologies on critters, I would think I'd want to have my fi critters featured quite consistently so I could talk about them and, and better identify them. Check it out. Here's a, a, a critter. Space. Critter. Space. Critter. Space. There's a whole lot of negative space here. We don't want to fill in all the negative space, but clearly we could have made, without even changing the size of the font, we could have made this bigger and would have been that much easier for folks to see, or if they're asking me a question for me to point out taxonomic features on the on the critter or whatever, Matt? So, just seeing this and how there's, even within the picture, there's these consistent gaps. There's just kind of like yep. dragging places. Yep. So, what program are you using? Are we going to have some sort of. So, the thing I'm going to give you is a PowerPoint template. You can also use Adobe Acrobat. Those are the two main ones people use. PowerPoint. Yeah. So, I mean, like. So, all, but all, all, those are all vector based things. So it's very easy to click, if I insert the figure here, a, 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 a image, it's very easy to click on this image and align them to the top or, al or center align them or, or whatever the case may be. You, you can turn on grid lines in both those programs, yes, absolutely. Okay, how about this one? Poster what? <laughs> wow. Wow. It's like a Leonardo DiCaprio movie you're saying. Why, is there, why are there so many logos? There's like logo there, logo there, logo there, logo there. Yeah. There's well, monsters. I suspect it was a big collaboration with a lot of different groups. It's just too scattered, I think. Oh, okay. I think there's not enough wording. So here, here's all the data. Here's all the data here, right? Mm. Looks like a pizza. It. What? <laughs> right. 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 How about how about this one? Oh. <laughs> yep. That'll do, pig. So what I say about what I say about background stuff? Are you allowed to use background images? No. No, because of crap like this, right? I mean, look at this. You can't even you can't even That's awful. see what the hell's going on. There's there's sort of the the you know benzene ring level going. Then there's some other like orange pink grid thing on like that wasn't enough. Like we have to make it even more distracting. <laughs> Right? So not not good. How about this one? Uh, I like that. Yeah, right? That's cool. Is this a 3D map? I don't think so. I think it's just the, the, my, my lens. The, so this post looks a little curved is my, my, my fisheye lens, I think is what's going on. So, so yeah, I would say kind of crap. Right. So, in terms of data density, so these guys, these guys are, are so proud of their methodology. Their methodology is just as important as as their data, and it's totally understandable, especially when you guys are in your the early stages of your research and you're like, oh my god, I finally figured out how to measure this. I finally figured out how to count the whatever. Matt's finally going to figure out how to get ImageJ to work on all his you know batch processing. Oh my god, let me tell you about this. Right. Totally understandable. I would suggest to you that this is not as important as the data. And check it out. Something just as equivalent is as one average value and another average value. That's not a lot of not a lot of there there, right? Now, if this is a brand new grad student or you guys just starting on your work, that's kind of one thing. But 
But again, visually, this is saying this is as important as the machine they built to do the sampling. I would suggest that that's not the case. How about this? Oh, but, hey, but here's, but this is an example of, of that gloss picking up um, photos and sort of satellite images and, and looking better than if it was on standard stock paper. How about this one? There's your boxes again. <laughs> No, we don't like boxes. I see. I see. So here's so so again here's here's the so this is again the title. We read the title and then we start here and go down, jump to here, go down, jump to here, go down, jump to here, go down. So that, that's clearly made to be read in a traditional uh, layout. Any other any other thoughts on this? I see. You're all tired. Want to go home? Um, how about this one? Uh, no, the 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 material that the the the, the poster backing was gray. Like the, the 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 wall thing was gray. Yeah, I have bad color choice. Yeah. How about this one? Oh my god, another sh it's a shrimp. It's a shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> At least it's just on one side. So it's not like everywhere. Uh, no, it's not a lobster. It's a small, it's a small, it's a, you look like a thousand shrimp. Yeah. Thoughts? Everybody's getting really quiet like they want to leave. Besides the shrimp. All right, well, listen up, you guys. Zach, what are you saying? The table and figure tiles are the same size as the inside. Not that they're, like, they are a part of the table. Okay, how about this one? But it looks organized. It's a lot of graphs, but it still looks organized. There's your boxes. Your boxes are back. I like these boxes. Oh, some boxes we like now. I see. I see. I see. I like how the fun thing and references are like teeny tiny all the way to the side, like just if you wanna. Right. So it's just better than the rest. Yeah. I think there was a one here. Yeah, and there's a two over there, but the circle is a little distracting. <laughs> but you know. <laughs> <laughs> so, generally speaking, when people do that, they're trying to lead you through the results in a specific pattern. Even though, yes, you start off in the upper left, go to the lower right, usually when they do this, they want you to step through it in a certain fashion. Maybe they want to show you the big pattern first and then the exception or something like that. But that's what's going on. What this guy? <laughs> Are you supposed to do pie charts? No. No, never, ever, ever. I should note that I'm standing at the essentially the same distance for all these photographs. Yeah. It's really small. <laughs> yeah, so, I, so it's not bad to have a lot of microscopes. So these guys were studying phytoplankton. So this isn't necessarily bad, right? I mean, this is, they want to talk to folks that are visiting their poster about what species one looks like or two or something. But it's, uh, that's right. That's right. There's all this big, huge gap here, which is a different size gap is between here, which is a, bit, a different size gap is between here. And we have small text and then all this blank space. You could easily take these, not even change the words and just, you know, size bigger, size bigger, size bigger, size bigger, and have that same stuff much easier to read in terms of your title. How about this? Yeah. Listen up, you guys. For a scientific paper, you're not uh, doing a, like a uppercase caps or upper case for like the entire sequence. 
It's your choice, but yeah. So you can kind of have it just like the first There's no hard and fast rules. So one of the conferences I go to, the titles all have to be in capital and you know in uppercase letters. Like all the titles have to be. So sometimes they'll have some specific format like that, but unless they specify, there's no magic uh, requirement. How about this one? Oh crap, background pattern. It's very minimal though. It's not like super distracting. I can still. No, wrong, it's super distracting is the answer. <laughs> it's so minimal. It's super distracting is the answer. When you try to read this, it goes from it's dark on light to dark on dark. No, that's bad. This is dark on dark. The, uh, what do I think about it? Say it again. The gradients, like a, a gradient. Never do a gradient. No. Just don't ever. Okay, got it. <laughs> is it the same background? Yep. Isn't that the same poster? Nope. Nope. It's the same. Here's that poster. Here's that poster. Same image background. What? <laughs> what kind of mess is this? <laughs> okay, so that's the correct impression. What kind of mess is this, right? <laughs> so I, I'm not trying to pick on whoever made this poster, but I'm trying to say that is not the impression you want to leave potential employers with, right? No you look at this and you're like, what, were they high last night or something? <laughs> or, or did they you know, have some horrible disaster hit their university and they didn't have time to put it together or something, right? So suddenly we're thinking about the layout, right? So we're talking about layout today, not because that's the only thing to think about in your poster, by no means, but we want to have a layout that's going to support the concepts and the data that you put forth in your poster. We want to have a layout that's not distracting. We want to have a layout that reinforces uh, and makes it easier for folks to see your salient points. This is the exact opposite of that, right? I have no idea what's going on here. If I, if I really am into microbial reactivity and water masses, so maybe I'm, I might be interested in the topic. I got to work really hard to read through this to figure out what the heck's going on, right? That is not that 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 is. If you guys made a post like this, you would fail. <laughs> Honest to God. Abstract intro and results. Abstract intro results. Yes, right, correct. Too, like and then, but the key points are here, so it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What about this one? What about this one? So the one, the one time, the one time, I don't think this really applies to any of you. I don't think I could be wrong, but the one time it's okay to have smaller figures and, and sort of the same exact figure repeated is, is, um, to look for large scale patterns, right? So yes, if we wanted to read whatever the hell the value is on this, it's actually too blurry to read. It's, it's a logarithmic scale, right? But if we wanted to read that, we have to get really close to the poster, right? This approach is not meant to be looked really closely. This approach is meant to show you the similarity of shapes of responses. Mm -hmm. So that we can see, oh my God, all these guys or all these ones have a hump in the middle, hump in the middle, hump in the middle. These guys have more of a linear or a, you know, directional progression. Mm -hmm. So that would be the time when it's okay to have say smaller figures, but many, many more, more figures on that scale, if the goal is not to look at any one particular figure, but the goal is to look for the broader scale pattern. Okay? Yeah, that's crap. We know it. Okay, how about this one? There's your, there's your boxes again. There's some boxes here. What the heck? Oh my god. I would just walk away. So this is, a, I think it's a crinoid or something in the background, but but right, so here's a perfect example, right? So we have black lettering on black background, and then it's alternating with white, so it, you can sort of see it sometimes, but it's like, what the hell, right? Who approved these? Yeah, uh, who approved these? Most of these are done by graduate students and postdocs. They did not graduate from ESRM. <laughs> So again, it's, so I, I think again, and we're, we're, this is not to pick on people, right? We're, we're just looking at examples, but but most programs, I never had a single lecture on how to give a talk ever. 
in graduate school. All my undergraduate, all my graduate <coughs> school. Well, actually, that's not true. I had a day in one, one thing. So most folks from research organizations, which are what most of these posters are coming for, are trained to be excellent scientists, not excellent communicators. So one of the reasons why when you guys go and go to agencies and go to other universities and stuff, the feedback we often get is the other folks are not as prepared as you guys are because they haven't thought about things like this. Not that we're great or perfect by, by any means, but, but you get this. This is the product that comes from people not thinking about or not understanding how the other folks read their or, or interpret their information is the short answer. Okay, how about this one? What? It's got textured background. Ooh, microbes. Ooh, we better better have some like microbe background, right? But even but setting that aside, right? Here's something line. Look at that. Look at that text, right? Again, this is just design. I can't even read that text. There's a word and a word. I could have this one word be twice as big, and it meant put the second word beneath the arrow, and it would be way without changing anything else about the layout it would be way more readable, right? So what you guys can do is you're gonna generate your first post, you can generate your first um, draft of your poster, and then we'll start editing it, right? So you should probably go through a couple iterations if you can before you turn that first one in on Monday. But, but the point is when we see something like this, we can fix it, right? If you turn something like this in right before it's time to print, you are screwed. Do not let that happen. I can see what's going on now. People are being quiet. They want to speak up. He's not looking at me. I'm staring at my screen. He's not paying attention to me, right? Do not, do not screw yourself over. Generate your poster this week. Step, leave it away for, put it away from you for a day or two. Come and look at it on Saturday. Revise it. Show it to your roommate. What do you, does this make sense what I did, right? Don't sit there and spend five minutes and explain your research to him or her. Show them your poster. Can they, do they understand what you did? Can they understand what you did? Right, that's the, that's the metric here, right? So there's all, these guys use different fonts, different sizes of things, but the point is, are we communicating effectively? If you like boxes, you know, do your boxes. If you don't like boxes, don't do your boxes. There's no one magic path to having a kick butt poster. There's suggestions, there's guidelines, but ultimately, it, it depends on how it's going to lay out, right? So some of you guys were commenting on the paper in the hallway or the poster in the hallway that was the um, armoring, coastal armoring database, right? That is the map of California. Because California is shaped the way it is, that has implications for that poster was laid out. If we were, if we were doing a poster on Florida, coastal armoring, right? That's a different shape. Uh, of the of the main nut of the presentation, and so so you know, pose might be laid out differently. Alaska might be laid out differently. Hawaii might be laid out differently, right? So some of this uh, really needs to, well, it's really going to depend on your data, how you're visualizing your data, and all those kinds of things. Make sense? So I'm curious, how did you guys lay out your? Can I take a quick glance at you guys' poster before we let you go? Okay. 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 So again, I would say in your layout, the relative size of these things matters still. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't generally speaking, put my graphs in a little teeny box somewhere, right? We want them to generally speaking be, we don't want to, we don't want to make it overly big, but, but we want it to be um, a main thing that people are looking at, right? The a main thing that they're, that they're getting to take away. Can I see you guys? Yeah.
some of these uh, templates in them. And uh, what I want to see, what I want to see next week is you guys have uploaded a PDF version of your poster. So uh, I'll give you the PowerPoint. All you have to do is say print as or save as PDF and then uh, uh, upload that into the folder I'll give you guys, right? So for you guys by three o'clock on Monday, questions? Everybody's doing their own poster, even if you're in a group, right? Yes. Hold on. Everything is a complete poster. If you give me a poster that just says graphs or says map, no. No, 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 no. Everything is done. This is a complete draft. The figures are all there. The error bars are on there. The, the everything, right? We might edit it, but it needs to be 100% complete. Not this is coming next week. Okay? All right, I'll see you guys. Well, um, so I guess I, I guess I won't have office hours next week because of the holiday, but uh, I will have office hours on, on Tuesday and, and other, other times. So um, yes, I will see you guys, I guess, in two weeks. Thanks, you guys.